Welcome to the short session of standardized recipes presented by the Oregon Department of Education Child Nutrition Programs. In this short session, When to Use, we will briefly go over when and why to use a standardized recipe. Child nutrition sponsors are responsible for serving healthful foods while being cost effective and meeting meal pattern requirements for reimbursement. Using standardized recipes is an essential strategy to help accomplish this goal. A standardized recipe should be used on all menu items that include two or more ingredients or require preparation. This means that menu items ranging from fruit salad to peanut butter and jelly sandwiches to spaghetti with homemade meat sauce should have a recipe. A good rule of thumb is if it credits towards the meal pattern, it should have a standardized recipe. But you may ask, I've been making these recipes for years. Why do I now need a recipe for it? In some kitchens, staff have been preparing certain recipes for a long time and it may seem silly to go through all of the steps to develop a standardized recipe when they feel they have the process memorized. It is important to use standardized recipes to ensure food cost, to know the nutrients per serving, and that customer satisfaction is consistent throughout your operation. Let's take a closer look at each of these elements to highlight the importance they will have on the success of your program. Recipes are developed with specific ingredient amounts. When additional amounts of ingredients are added, there may be a change in the cost to produce that recipe. For example, a child nutrition program has a recipe for beef taco filling that calls for 35 pounds of ground beef to make 200 servings. Let's say a cook uses 40 pounds of ground beef. The cost proportion increases significantly because five additional pounds of meat were used. While five cents per serving may not seem like much, imagine if similar changes were made to one recipe each day during a 12 month period with 200 service days. Suddenly, what seemed like a small addition of a few pounds of meat can add up and become a major cost for the program. Costs are also based on the assumption that a recipe will yield a certain number of servings. The taco filling recipe is specified to yield 25 servings per pan when using a number 16 scoop or a quarter cup. What if a serving staff grabbed a number 12 scoop, one third cup instead, and reduced the pan yield to 20 servings instead of 25 servings? Suddenly, the cost per serving rises to 12 cents, which might not seem like a lot, but imagine if the same mistake was made every day over the course of a school year. This could add up to almost $5,000 in excess food cost. Overserving can lead to a few more issues in addition to increased food costs. If participants are unable to eat all that they were served, excess plate waste will result. Additionally, if the recipe was prepared to serve a specific number of meals, over-serving puts the kitchen at risk of running out of food before the end of meal service. For example, a kitchen prepares enough taco filling to yield 200 servings for one meal service. If the taco meat is over-served, the planned servings will be reduced by 40 and could potentially leave the last participants who wanted this option disappointed. Serving incorrect portion sizes can also alter the nutrient content of the menu. Let's compare the nutrient content of serving taco meat when portioned with a number 16 scoop versus a number 12 scoop. The total number of calories changes by 25 calories, saturated fat by 3 grams, and sodium by 30 milligrams. Even though these differences may seem small, it can have a big impact on the total nutrients being served to participants at each meal. Now imagine if a participant was overserved every day for a year. Consider how many excess calories, grams of fat, saturated fat, and sodium they would be consuming. Serving healthful meals to children is the number one goal of child nutrition programs, and sponsors should strive to provide portions that are reasonable to the age grade group of the population they are serving. On the contrary, underserving participants can also lead to a problem. Incorrect portion size is a common finding during state administered reviews and can lead to corrective action. Another very important reason to use standardized recipes is keeping staff and customers happy and satisfied. Standardized recipes provide the same recipe outcome no matter who is preparing them. They allow staff members to become familiar with the recipe format and feel confident when faced with recipes in similar formats. This may also increase overall production during food preparation. Guesswork is eliminated because staff members know that the recipe will turn out how it was intended. Customers will be more satisfied and participation may increase because customers know what to expect each time a product is served. 